My name is Eric Van Eiderson, and I am the Director of Cardiac Rehabilitation here at Main Campus Cleveland Clinic. And I'm here today to talk to you about digital fitness trackers. And I know that uh, this has become a popular topic and people want to know if I wear one of these, does it work? What does it tell me? How can I use this information? Well, it is important to understand that things like digital fitness trackers can be helpful in terms of understanding what you're doing for exercise, helping you to keep compliant with exercise, and even helping you to design an exercise plan for you. But it's also important to understand that uh, there are limitations associated with these types of devices, and that it's important to understand that these are not medical devices and they should not be treated so, and that they should be looked at as helpful tools to help you better understand objectively what it is you're doing, such as how many steps you take per day, such as the total amount of activity you participate in, and giving you general estimates of the intensity in which you perform these uh, physical activity tasks or even exercise. Things like heart rate monitoring are oftentimes incorporated into these activity trackers. And again, understanding what your heart rate is based on an actual response is important, but they should not be used as uh, medical information for you to make diagnostic decisions. And that if you are in interested in making those types of uh, decisions, you should discuss what heart rate means for you based on your medical history, your experience exercising with your primary care doctor, your cardiologist, or your preventive cardiology clinic. And that it may be appropriate for you, depending on those conversations, to have an exercise stress test to understand how your heart does respond to different levels of exertion so that you may get a individualized or prescribed exercise heart rate training zone that can be safely performed by you on a consistent basis. So if you're interested in purchasing an activity tracker that includes heart rate monitoring, it is important for you to do a little bit of research. And if you want the best information, uh, I do recommend speaking with uh, us here at the Cleveland Clinic in Preventive Cardiology and Cardiac Rehabilitation to discuss which activity trackers may be best for you. Because there is data out there that have looked at how accurate some of these heart rate readings are from these activity trackers based on the gold standard, which is the 12 lead electrocardiogram monitoring that is performed during exercise stress testing. And that, again, all of these digital devices are not for medical purposes and no matter how close they are to an actual 12 lead electrocardiogram heart rate, you should not view a heart rate response in the comfort of your home or out at your local park or local gym as a medically grade information gathering tool. 